I got this. Yes, 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 yes. When are we rolling? And we've been rolling. Of course. <laughs> so, okay. So guys, welcome back. So I've already done a contour tutorial, so I'm not gonna necessarily teach you guys how to do that again, but I am going to show you how to use brushes so you can get a nice airbrushed finish with your face makeup. Okay, I'm gonna start with my medium kabuki brush. So I'm gonna mix the foundation straight on the brush, and I'm going to use a pump of Skin Perfecting Illuminator, and then a pump of my very old <laughs> CoverGirl Olay foundation, and I think it's their Ageless. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it's in 255 Soft Honey. Who knows if that color even exists anymore. Um, but yeah, so like that. And then I'm gonna do dots. So the whole set's from Gemstetics. Um, it has the kind of crystal pretty marble gem handles. But they're really soft, synthetic, beautiful brushes. Um, they're my new favorite brushes. They're a little heavier. They're really pretty to have in your bathroom and the weight is actually kind of nice. Um, it makes you have, I feel like, a better handle and hold on on the brush. So I'm gonna put my Laura Mercier on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out with my smaller, um, more flat kabuki brush. Then I'm gonna go in with my other concealer because that's not enough. Um, and I'm just gonna draw. <laughs> well, now I'm like red because I'm like, I, well, and I also had spicy food for lunch, so um, this is just all bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Um, so that's yellow. <laughs> cool. So I'm just gonna draw X's on my face. <laughs> because why not? Um, I just like to have fun. And then I'm gonna go in. <laughs> it looked crazy. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna blend it out uh, with my, the first brush that I use for my foundation because it's the fluffy, smaller, compact kabuki brush. Just gonna do this. Do you feel like using a brush gives you a more airbrushed look? Yes, because especially when it's synthetic like this and when it's um, a kabuki brush. Like when it's any brush, it's like these will give you an airbrush finish, and especially the softer they are, um, the better it is. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, foundation stick for my contour. I'm going to do the lines and maybe some circles, because that's how I feel today. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte foundation and I'm gonna use that as my highlight and I'm being very lazy today but also this is how I do my makeup pretty much every day when I'm not on camera and so there's a ghost so I'm gonna use uh, my flat brush to blend because I want to keep it in a very precise area I'm gonna do my nose contour a little bit I'm gonna use my KKW Beauty contour stick, which actually this is it's a new it's a new thing for me. Cause I don't wanna like what people like, but everybody really likes these and guess what? I get it, they're great. Um so I'm gonna do a little nose contour. Doesn't have to be perfect. With my little contour brush, it, it basically molds to or it fits into the contours of like cheek, your, chin, your um, jawline. I'm gonna use it for my nose. Because of the way it curves, it's really easy to blend this and keep it in the same spot. It's actually amazing. For my final touches, I'm gonna just uh, use three powders, which is gonna be my highlight, contour, and blush. I'm gonna use my flat one for my highlight. I'm just gonna place it under my eye. Little nose. Anywhere where I feel like I'm shining, which right now is my whole face. Once we've done that, I'm going to go in with my hula, because I wanna keep it natural. I'm gonna go with my biggest brush, and I'm choosing this for my blush and contour because it's the fluffiest, and it's the least compact, so you can get a nice blendable 
um, even distributed color on your cheeks and your face. So it doesn't end up with pigment in just one spot. And if you really feel like you need to, you can go in with um, another highlight. So for this, I love the, the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it's a corrector and highlight, and it's great coverage. And it's very dewy, so it won't totally mess up the powder that's under it. And you just wanna use the same brush just to press it in. Last step is gonna just be the blush, and I'm using my e.l.f. because there's a little shimmer to it, nothing crazy. And then I'm just gonna kinda go over the high parts of my face and blend in the, the contour that I used. And I'm gonna use the same big fluffy brush for that too. That's the whole set of the gem aesthetic brushes for like a full face and you have more than you even really need. So, and then it looks really airbrushed and nice and natural. Definite yay. Oh yeah, and there is no fallout. Ha, huh, didn't even think about that. Yeah, no, they're great. I love them. And they're really cute. Cool. So I'll put the link down below. I don't need a point, they know what below is. <laughs> um, I'll put the link below so you can find where to get these and you can get them online. It's also a local company in Orange County, which is also really neat. Um, in San Juan, they're based out of San Juan Capistrano. It's a cute, cute little city. Um, but yeah, and they also have rollers and uh, eye brushes as well. But these guys are my all time, my favorite for just an airbrushed, simple look for everyday makeup. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Thanks, Gabby. And next time we'll do something else. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. For now, ta-ta for now.